So this customer had a bed, they wanted some permanent edging installed around. I like to go ahead and install it before mulching. That way we get a nice clean finish to everything uh, once we start putting mulch down. Uh, for this edging, I turned a bender board, which you'll see here is very quick and easy to install. So we're installing some uh, bender board landscape edging. Uh, AM Leonard offers 50 foot kits. Um, the bender board by Epic Plastics is a great landscape edging option. I, I like that it's recycled. Uh, it's eco-friendly and really sustainable uh, process that they have for using post-consumer uh, recycled plastic material to make a really high quality landscape edging. So just that's just cool in itself. Um, and uh, another reason to use it uh, is that it's, it's really safe for pets. And uh, if you have kids that uh, are running around barefoot in your yard and stuff like that, it really gives you some peace of mind that there's not a jagged you know, piece of metal edging sticking up. So uh, it's really flexible, creates some really cool curves, uh, has slip joints in it, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. It can be cut and assembled with just common woodworking tools. I have an impact drill and a circular saw that I use to trim this edge off. We're gonna set the first couple stakes here uh, and take off with the rest of it. So I really like how this installs. Uh, got my AM Leonard dead blow hammer here and just gonna drive this first stake in. Um, what we want, the look we wanna have is kinda of matching up even with this wall. And uh, we'll drive the stake down a little bit more. I like to get the stake a little bit installed and drill things in and then hammer the whole piece in. Each kit, uh, 50 foot kit, comes with five 10 foot pieces of uh, edging per bundle and 20 stakes. So about four pieces, uh, uh, four stakes per piece of edging. Um, here you see the slip joint, which is a pretty handy feature that Epic uh, de designed their edging with. Um, we're going to put two stakes in right here. Uh, we're not going to drill the slip joint together. We want to leave about a quarter to a half inch gap there to uh, allow the edging to shift and not uh, spike up out of the ground. So it would, this is an awesome. Uh, feature about this edging because if you do get some starting to lift out of the ground with like a harsh uh, freeze thaw like we have here in Ohio you can always just come back with your uh, mallet and tap them back into the ground and tap this even again so really handy way they design their edging here um, forgot to mention the screws uh, we, we send a box uh, one pound box of decking screws to come with each kit and uh, that's what you use to fasten the stakes on so it's gonna hammer it down so it's a little bit below grade. Take our fasteners. We know the mulch is gonna come up over the top of this stake, so don't waste any time installing the stakes. We're gonna uh, end the curve into the house here. We wanna give it a nice uh, curve. We're gonna angle it so it's easy to mow around. Um, so I'm just gonna set it up here. We wanna use this end at the slip joint, obviously, um, but we'll, we're gonna mark how much we need. Then uh, we'll flip it over uh, to install it. So Nate's just get, we're just gonna kinda set it in here like how we want it so we know how much we need and Nate's gonna score it with his knife. Uh, then we'll just trim that off.